Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare for the descent and fly the descent in the Antonov 225 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are currently en route from Cologne to Leipzig and we are going to arrive in Leipzig on runway 08 right for the landing. Let's have a look into our approach chart in order to start the descent planning. Now, Looking into the approach chart, we can see that the arrival would be a long and protracted ANAF arrival, but I do expect a shortcut from ATC for straight in approach. Therefore, we are going to assume that from Kojak we are going to fly a straight in approach. Looking at the runway itself, we can expect more or less a direct approach over here as well, as Kojak is almost on the extended center line, only a couple miles to the north of it. And looking at the MSA ring of around the airport over here, that is 25 miles. So we can see Kojak is just outside 25 miles. So following our standard rules of thumb of losing 1,000 feet in three nautical miles, we can basically determine our straight in approach. Okay, so let's go ahead and prepare for the ILS approach from May 08 right then. First of all, we are going to have a look into our GPS, which we are going to use for the vertical planning. And we go on the VNAV page, and now let's select an altitude of 8,000 feet at the waypoint Kojak. So I want to have 8,000 at a target position, zero nautical miles before waypoint Kojak. Enter that and finally select a suitable vertical speed profile. In our case something in the region of about 2500 feet per minute is normally working quite well. If we enter that it now calculates our top of descent for us in three minutes time. Now that we know our top of descent we still have to prepare for the approach. So for that we are going to head over to the navigators panel and up here we can see we need ILS frequencies of 111.75 and we are going to tune that active on the radio number one and for backup we will also tune it on the radio number two. Now the approach course is going to be 082 degrees which we are going to set on both sides. 082 and 082. For the approach itself, there is no NDB needed. However, the missed approach is based on Sierra Kilo Zulu Schreuditz NDB. So let's tune 357 in the radius up here. 357 and 357. And that is basically the setup that we can do in advance. Finally, we can determine our minima, which is 826 feet or 200 feet barrel. Now, in the AN225, you have no altitude box on your altimeter, so you need to use the radio altitude for that minima. We know that it is at 200 feet, so if we go to the EFB and we calculate 200 feet, that turns out as 61 meters. Keep in mind the radio altimeter is metric in this airplane, so we need to set, we need to convert these 200 feet into 61 meters and set the buck over here. With that, we are pretty much prepared to start our descent. So, as you can see, the entire setup is not all too difficult in the Anton. Last thing we can do now is to work ahead already and do some calculations. And that I'm going to calculate my planned altitude of 8,000 feet and I'm going to convert this into meters over here giving me 2,438 meters. So let's go ahead and pre-select 2,438 in our altitude window so that we are all ready to go by the time we reach our top of descent. So 2,000 400 and then on the option set it in once and 38. Alright, 
With that, we are set up to start our descent towards our destination. Looking down into the GPS, we can see that it says descent to target. So in order to start the descent, we are going to go into the vertical mode up here again, and we will select the alt. Uh, the, we will select the pitch target down until we show the 2,500 feet a minute that we require as vertical speed over here. Now that we've reached 2,500 feet a minute, even a bit faster right now, let me quickly correct for that, pitch up again by a tiny bit. Now that we have 2,500, we hit the H3 button, and this now fixes the airplane at a rate of descent of 2,500 feet a minute. Since this is not a very sophisticated VNAV system, we should keep an eye on the GPS and on the vertical speed required down here, which is going to slowly decrease as we are descending down since we are losing ground speed. In terms of the speeds, there is no descent schedule published for the Antonov 225. However, from what I've read in the developer's Discord channel, the developer does recommend to descend at pretty much the speed you like. So, seeing that we should fit our Antonov within the other aircraft in the airspace, something in the region 280 to 300 knots is usually a good speed for the descent. So let's say we want a descent speed of 300 knots that would equal 550 kilometers per hour and conversely 280 knots would equal 520. So anything between 520 to 550 kilometers an hour gives us a fairly good descent. Right now we're doing 550 equaling 300 knots. Once we've started the descent the flight engineer would normally start the AP fuel heaters, which I have just about turned on over here. Alright, from now on, we are basically just going to follow the vertical speed target down here, and I see you again in the next video, when we've reached 10,000 feet, from where on I'm going to show you how to fly the approach in this airplane. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one. Finally, if you want to support the channel, you can do that using the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below, or by becoming a channel member, which is going to give you exclusive early access to new videos. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.